So this is the process for resurfacing a Subaru cylinder head if you just want to do it at home. Uh, again, what do you need? You need a piece of marble or some sort of stone that is totally flat. You want to check that with the machine shop. Um, I use 3M wet dry sandpaper. Um, usually 220 or 320 grit. Um, if the cylinder head's pretty bad, if it's pretty pretty warped, you can start with 220 and then go to 320. I put the contact cement on the back of the sandpaper, just a little bit. All you need is a little to keep it in place. And then again, um, you know, I'll spray WD-40 on the sandpaper just so that the aluminum cylinder head will slide. And you can see this is maybe just four or five minutes. So I'll have some high spots here. Um, What's cool about this method is um, you get to just take as much material off as you need, not more. I'm going to put a little WD 40 this time just so it's slides a little bit better on the sandpaper. I've done both sandpaper and water. Seems like this one's sticking pretty good right now, so I'm just going to hit it with this WD-40. I'm going to do it again. That's better. Now it's sliding a little bit better. So typically I'll do like between 25 and 50 rotations before I pull it off the sandpaper and take a look at it and take uh, wipe all the aluminum that's come off of it. You know, depending on, I've had, this cylinder head shouldn't be too bad because I did it. Um, like a year ago when I first got the car and realized the head gaskets were blown. So it really shouldn't take too long to get this one flat. So you can just kind of go, you know, do as many rounds as you feel like you need. You can see it's getting there. There's a low spot or a high spot here and through here. So I'm going to hit those. Just keep going. There's a couple reasons I like doing this method. <coughs> For the single cam Subaru engines, most of the earlier naturally aspirated engines, like 2000 to 2010, <coughs> you can do this with the cams in it still. Whereas if you take it to a machine shop, you know it can be um, 100 bucks at the least. That's what the shop charges around here. Plus you gotta wait for them. Plus you gotta drive them over there. So I like doing this, it's quick and it's cheap. And it's kind of cool to have the feeling, the feedback of um, doing this process. And then also just seeing the progress as you take away material. You can see it's already starting to look way better. So this one's close. I'm gonna do another couple, another couple, and call it good.